Hello, today we're going to show you how to prick out lettuce using the same Tom Thumb seeds that we sowed not that long ago. The link to that video is just there. And do watch the end because we're just going to give you a very quick uh, recap on how to water your seedlings. It does sound obvious, I know, but um, it's just a little reminder showing you just how delicate you do need to be. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture, helping you develop your gardening skills, whether it's showing you how to prune, how to take cuttings, how to sow vegetables, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider subscribing to us. That means you're following us. There's no extra cost involved at all. And don't forget to press that all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Hello everybody, good morning again. Um, today we're gonna to look at pricking out those lettuces which we sowed a few weeks ago. They've um, they come on very, very well. Um, and they really are ready now to be pricked out. Perhaps they might have gone a bit too far, but never mind, they'll be okay. The thing is, if we leave them like this, they'll obviously uh, get too big uh, and they won't make nice little plants. So what we need to do is to get them out and what we call prick them out. So we'll take a little cluster out of the corner and we will then um, split those out into another pot. Now the traditional way of doing it is you get a little, little pot like this. You um, fill it up with compost. This is ordinary potting compost. It needs a bit of food in it because it's obviously now uh, they're growing away. They're not like seeds. They'll want a little bit of um, food in it. And having lifted these up, you very carefully break them up without damaging the roots. Um, here we are. They're quite nice little plants. Now look at that lovely little plant there. I'm holding it by the the, 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 the two number two and one there. Split those up. Pull that out. There we are. You can see there that the lettuce has got um, what we call the cotyledons, the first seed, seed leaves. They're going to die anyway. They were just the ones that helped to feed it when it was, when it was um, germinating. So we don't want to, um, you know, if you're going to hold it, hold it by that. Um, try not to use the new roots, the new, sh the new leaves, sorry. And whatever you do, don't use the little shoots because if they get damaged, the plants have it. And just make a little hole big enough to get that root right down into it. Um, push the soil compost right back around it and there we are. In that little tray, we'll probably do about four by, no, five by four, I think we can get in there. So here we go again. Um, here we are, deep down into the hole. And gently work your way around, potting them on like that. Everything gentle with, 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 with these things. And do remember, I mean, I watered these before we, before we put them out. Do keep them moist. Roots dry out very, very quickly and they'll die off very, very quickly. So get them into the, into the compost as, as quickly as you can. And, and to a certain extent with lettuces, it doesn't really matter if, you, if they come at different stages because we don't want them all coming together because as you know, you get a whole load of lettuces, you don't know what to do with all of them, do you? So if you're doing it for your, like, your, your, your uh, own um, domestic use, it's uh, much better to have them coming in at different stages. There we are, a nice neat little tray of lettuces. Um, water them, next is an important thing. And they'll, they'll, they'll all grow on and then they can be planted out when they've got to a decent size. Now what we can do nowadays is we can put them straight into modules. And you can buy these modules uh, and it does mean that if I fill this one up and I plant it and I prick out all these, um, then I've got a lot of plants which can go straight into the ground without any disturbance to the roots. So we'll do this one as well and we can actually compare them and see how they all come on. Now there's the same letters obviously and they'll be treated the same and uh, we'll see the difference when they come uh, and they get planted out. So here we are exactly the same as we had before. Um, we're going to just break these up again, loosen them up and I'm going to just put, this time, put one in each of these. Again, gently break them up. Exactly the same as before, but this time, of course, one in each. Hold on, I'm going to put a small one in here so that it'll come on a bit, bit you know, the roots come off completely, forget that one. We'll put that one in there. Yeah, flip the weeds. There he goes. There we are. Okay, so now we're going to work our way around 
and see how they do. You could of course put these straight into the ground if you uh, had a good nice, nice sheltered spot but I do find that the problem with putting them straight in is you sometimes get a lot of slug damage so grow them on in a, in, a, in a sheltered spot like this they should get well established before we put them into the ground and they, if they do get some slugs it shouldn't be quite so devastating. Right, so, but the thing to remember now of course is to go and sow some more, more lettuce seed because um, by the time these have come up you'll want some more coming on and uh, with the way the season's going now, nice and warm, we'll soon be needing them. Right, what I wanted to do now is just to show you the correct way of watering these things in. Um, it obviously a, a nice fine row, this does well. But do you notice, when I, when I do that, there's a dribble comes out. And if that was to go into those pots, it would, it would damage them completely. So whatever you do, let it run so the dribble disappears and you've just got a fine row. So you see, now you've got a fine row. Now do the watering. Give them a good, I like to go over once, then twice, um, and I then leave them actually for a while to dry, to dry out. But take it away before you lift it up, because otherwise you get that dribble again. So it's very important then to make sure you get the fine rows and you don't do any damage to the plants, and there we are, lovely. And then away again. There we are, and that's it. Um, very important, of course, with all sorts of plants, but especially seeds. Um, the other thing I'd say about watering is, I always give them a very good water to start with, then I leave them a little while, put them somewhere in the shade so they get a chance to recover, but try not to water them until you really need to. That way it encourages the roots to go out and look for water. Um, if it's just there, they'll help themselves do it and not, uh, not bother to grow. So, yeah, just, just encourage them to grow out. And um, now these will go in a shelter. We won't put them in the full sun, obviously. They'll be a good, good light, warmth, um, but not bright sunshine until they actually pick up. They'll, they'll have picked up by tomorrow and they'll be growing away within, the, uh, within a few days. Well, that's all for today. We very much enjoyed having you in our Somerset garden. If you enjoyed that, do consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press that all important notification bell. Just lets you know every time we upload a new video. We look forward to seeing you again.